Joe from uh, Mega Pros, Algonquin. From Algonquin. Uh, we're doing a ton of that vinyl plank. Yeah. Kitchens, hallways, foyers, the whole thing. Yep. Uh, first request in a bathroom. Do you recommend it? So vinyl plank is a great product. You know, what makes it so great is that it is non-fibrous. And mm -hmm. we, you know, we were just talking about, you know, what happens to anything that's fibrous. But water can still get under it, right? Water can get under it, so the subfloor may become affected. So if you're putting it into a, a, a you know, full bathroom with cement a board. tub, shower, whatever, I would recommend cement board, and then you can set the vinyl plank over that. If water, if there's a significant amount of water that gets in, you can, they're typically just a mechanical click or a locking mechanism. Sure. You take it apart, dry it out, put it right back. I've never had the request for a bathroom before. But yeah, have you we've done, done them? them. We've done them. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And Great the cost, product. cost in comparison, the, the other popular. It's less than ceramic. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. 20%, 30%? I have no idea. That's why I, I don't have my calculator on me. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say at least 30%. 30% percent It has to, to be. Yeah, because you're because grouting process, the whole not thing. Not only that, but you have to put down uh, some, sub, you know, substructure support underneath, whether it's uh, isolation membranes or, or cement boards, something that can house the tile, right? So you've got the cost of that, then the tile, then the grout, then the setting materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. With these vinyl planks. The installation is oh, it's a very easy. And it's a great